there's more to talk about in markets. So Brendan Conway rejoins us. Uh, Brendan, you mentioned that the markets like the jobs report. Now, what else is going on? We had Apple yesterday repairing, getting back some of some of the, you know, coming back from that very steep fall. Uh, what else do we need to look for today? So, you know, a Apple actually, I, I think this is a really fascinating story kind of about the market that we're, we're in right now. Um, a Apple, as you know, has such a sway over certain stock indexes like um, Na NASDAQ 100. It's something like 18% of it. So you know that when Apple's doing really well, it's going, you know, all boats are going to be lifted to, mm -hmm. to a certain extent. When it's not, not so hot. Um, Wednesday, Apple fell by more than 6%. And there was some talk among analysts that, you know, may maybe there's some doubts about products. But what, what you're hearing a lot more of are traders unloading for so that they could avoid capital gains hits next year. Really? Do you think it, that's uh, as much? You know, I can't prove it. But if, if, if you sort of see this kind of parabolic upward move that we had earlier this year in Apple, and then suddenly it stalls out, I think what you're looking at there is a couple of things. You're looking at the, 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 the fact that people who got on the bandwagon were getting worried, right? Apple has this core of true believing investors. They have great numbers behind them. You know, they've been right for so long, but you also have these momentum traders. Those people, I think, kind of lost faith. The other thing is, is, is that you do see certain high performing sectors, certain sectors that you wouldn't expect to be falling over the last month or two, you know, if because traders of, had a fiscal cliff worry, they would be dumping these. And they are Apple, they are high dividend stocks, which I, I think doesn't make hmm. a lot of sense uh, to do that. But you, you certainly do see some of that. I, I heard an upswing of talk this week that people were getting rid of Apple because, uh, for, for, for tax reasons. A, a, a because Apple had, had run up so much, but B, because they are worried about kind of the tax hit. They're taking a little bit of their best position and selling it in order to meet their obligations. I guess, I guess theoretically, you uh, it has had the run up. You may have a lot of people in there with a low cost basis. And you know, to the extent your 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 cap gains tax is getting increased, I, I forgive me. I think it's 15% to, I think 24% when you mm. add in the Medicare, uh, the Medicare thing that's going to hit long-term capital gains. Um, so right there, I guess you have to assume just to be even, uh, a sizable increase in the share price next year to offset the extra gains you'd be paying for if you sold the next year. So maybe that's what what people are thinking about. That that that, that could be it. But you you certainly oh, see that this market really, uh, you know. At the risk of overstating it, like traders are still hostage to the fortunes of one company, and in good times it's wonderful; it works out well. In bad times, you know, I, I wrote a column back in March saying, "Just know how much Apple you have, because there's so much of it in your index funds. If you also have the stock, you you have this outsized bet on one yeah, company." Yeah. Uh, simple point, but a, a lot of reader unhappiness with with that simple point, and it, it's <laughs> fanboy last, unhappiness. The last couple months, it's it's come to, back to bite some folks. Okay, now uh, let's move over to the, the fiscal cliff. Do we have really any concern right now in the markets about that, or they're they're just it's really yeah, well, amazing. The, the market is putting its trust in D.C. The market is saying, we trust you guys to figure this out. You'll come up with some kind of solution. We're going to keep going. And so the Dow finished yesterday at a one-month high, even though um, if, you, if you sort of look at what's coming out of Washington from, um, I think it was Politico that had this story saying basically that the, 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 the White House liaison and the Congress went back to Mr. Boehner, who's the House Speaker, and said, um, we're not budging an inch on taxes. You guys have to budge. So they're still playing this game of chicken, the two sides. And markets are just kind of expecting, eh. Well, the market hears that the two sides are fairly close when it comes to the top line number. Uh, but someone still has to take a step yeah. that their base is not going to like, and neither one will do it. OK. Brendan Conway, thanks so much for joining us.